You know, praise on the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the Sisir, Shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the Sisiri and the truth and the sound doctrine. This is going to be a really, um, really um, quick video. Um, you can tell by the title here, as as far as on this this video that I'm that I have up, uh, this trans woman says they want to be treated like anybody else, and then you know the other woman, Aretha Franklin or whatever, said that well, no, you can't be, you know, you're trying to take the woman away from us. You, well, I'm, a, you know, she said I'm a woman and you're trans or whatever. You know, see, and then you know they say, well, you know, because we're we're we accept anybody, you know, we, you know, we we want to anybody everybody to be equal and all that, man. You know, when you look at this, man, immediately every every everything is wrong with it, man. Everything is wrong with it. I, I could say I could say we could say so many things on on these situations because this is what we, you know, prophets, you know, teach, you know, talk against, obviously. Because when you look at this man, this is all confusion. Every every everything about it, man, is confusion. This is a def this is definitely Babylon, man. Do you see this thing on the screen right now? That's trains. All right. This place is definitely definitely Babylon. And like I said, I'm I'm not gonna be very long in this video. You know, obviously everybody know, man, you know, the videos that I do, you know, they're not stressed out, you know, they're not they're not all that long because they don't have to be. Because we this is this is stuff that we already know. These these are just reminders, man. You know, and it's keep keep me up in the spirit, keep us all up in the spirit, man. And, and you know, just a reminder, which I don't think we need too many more reminders that we are <laughs> that we in Babylon. <laughs> but sometimes it's easy to lose that. You know, things are going good for you and stuff like that. You tend you tend to ignore some of that stuff, man. Especially if you're not like all over um uh, social media, not like that. Like I, I'm not, you know. But if you're in social media every day, then yeah, you'll 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 see, you know, and you're so called woke or whatever, all right. Or you, so let's say you're awakened, all right. And then you'll see, all right. Anyway, this whole thing, this whole thing is confusing, man. And it's this is this is supposed to be one of those um moralistic videos and stuff like that. I, I've seen this guy, Black Macho, all right. I've seen this guy. He, you know, you know what I'm saying. Well. You know, you have a problem with with this whole trans thing, and you know this thing being taken away from women. But when women out there are out there trying to be be men and try to play men's roles, there is not a problem with that. So now, now when you got trans coming to take take your take your role as a woman, now you got a problem. You see, you see how the Lord has has a crazy sense of humor, right? We tell you. According to the Bible, well, according to nature, really, you know, to be honest, as how a man and a woman is supposed to be, you try to say that you're equal. So now, when trans people are 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 trying to say that they're equal to your woman, when you have a trans woman trying to say that they're equal to a woman, now all of a sudden you have a problem. But you, but you, are, you're telling me that you're equal to me. You, as a woman, you're telling me that you're equal to me. Now that's not a problem. The Lord, the, man, we we told you, we told you, so-called black, black demonic ass women, that the Lord is getting ready to get y'all, man. We told y'all time and time again through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We told y'all time and time again, man, that the that the Lord is getting ready to get y'all, man. Now y'all, now y'all mad. Now you're mad. After all this time, you sit up there and say, "I'm equal to you." So how come a trans, how come a trans woman can't be equal to you? Hey, you know what I'm saying? How come how come they can't be equal to you? You got a problem with a man being trying to be a woman now? You got a problem with that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden there's an issue. You women don't think, man. You really don't. Anyway. Anyway, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 16. All right. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Your turning of things upside down. This thing. This thing. You're turning the things upside down. Right? You're turning the things upside down. You're a woman claiming to be equal to a man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad now. Don't you get mad now. 
Not now. No. Nah. You want equality? You got it. Now all of a sudden you don't now all of a sudden you don't look at is this woman equal to you. But you look at yourself equal equal to a man. How the hell is that? So I the, so the, the thing is, it's, it's just like selective feminism. You want a man to be a man when you want them to be a man. All of a sudden, you're the woman. All of a sudden, you're delicate. When somebody breaks in, when somebody breaks in the house, right? You're gonna look at who? You're gonna look at him. How come? Since you're so equal, how come you don't take the initiative? I got it. You sit back. I got it. How come you don't take the initiative? How come when your tie go flat, you look at a man to try to, to try to come be be Captain Save a Hope? Right? Come save you. What's up with that? So yeah, you're turning the things upside. Let's talk about this, this damn devil Esau, man. Right? You turn his turning the things upside down, man. Shall be esteemed as a pot as clay, man. He ain't gonna get away with this. He ain't gonna get away with this. You trying to keep you keep trying to say everybody's equal and they're not. But like I said, you, you they equal. They, they people are equal when when they want to be equal. You know what I'm saying? When it when it when it when it when it's something that doesn't benefit them, then it's not equal. But when it's something that that benefits them and they want they want to be in, right? Then 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 they're equal. Again, like the selective feminism. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're, they're equal when they want to be men, you know, women claim to be equal to men when they want to be. But when it comes to the hard, hard, hard shit. Oh, no, you're a man. You're supposed to do this. And men are supposed to do that. I keep hearing it. I keep hearing that men's supposed to do this. Men's supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like this whole mother, mother issue. You know, uh, when, when, when their son is a, is an NBA player or an NFL player. Or, or going to a military or whatever, then the, then the mothers want to take want to take uh want to take the credit, but when they out there squeegee kids, right, and standing on the corner is not doing not doing shit with themselves. The mothers they they fade they 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 blend in with the damn green screen. They just phase in the back. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You know who get the credit for that? The fathers, but the father ain't there. So what's the issue now? Right? What's the issue now? There's no excuse. What the hell's the issue now? There there's mothers out there. That raise their sons to the best of their ability, and they turn out to be okay. So a lot of them may not be in the truth, but I mean, you got a lot of brothers that was raised by their mothers. And you see how they turn out. So it may still have ways, you know what I'm saying? So you know, everybody has raised ways, whether you was raised by your father or your mother. I mean, hell, we we in this damn society, everybody gonna have their ways. Because some of those ways that your father has, he probably got from his mother. So then you're gonna learn those same ways. You know what I'm saying? Sure, but uh, that, that that's not exclude, excluding the fact that, yeah, I mean, you, you know, I'm a parent. Why is there why why is there a mother's day? Hell, why is there a father's day? Why is there a mother's day? You know what I'm saying? The parents, parents are doing what doing, doing what parents are supposed to, you know. You know what I'm saying? Why am I get? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want no special accolade for for something I'm supposed to be doing as a man. I don't want no special accolade for that. I don't need it. So why are these mothers? That's right, queen. You're the goddess of the earth, and you're a mother. Mothers are this, and mothers are that. How come they? How come they getting special praises for being mothers when they're not even mothers? They have. You want to know what those parent plan hoods are for? I mean, yeah, par uh, parent, parent, plan, plan hood, or whatever the fuck that shit is, right? You want to know what that's for? For the mothers. You want to know what infant drop boxes are for? For the mothers. How many men you see running up in there? How many men you see uh, carrying their child, right, to an infant drop box like they like they just some piece of like they just some male? How many how many men you see doing that? How many men you see throwing their children in dumpsters and stuff like that, man? How many men you see doing that? And it's the excuse, and the men make up the excuses. Well, no, nah, they're not going off. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. I mean, it's that their actions, but I mean, their actions may be, may be, you know, a little off, but as far as them, no, they're not, out, they're not in control, out of control. You know, you people make up so many excuses, man. You just sound stupid. And most of the time I have to ask, do you hear yourself when you speak? Because a lot of you people don't. 
So you're turning the thing. Every, everything about this place is upside down, man. You see this? Again, man, look at this, man. What's sickening? It's crazy because what's, what's, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's really sickening is you have Israelites that stand out there with garments and tell us. Now look, now, look at this thing. Look at this thing that you see on the screen, man. And listen to what I'm about to say. You have Israelites stand out there with garments on and all of this. And say that we are in the new covenant. Look at this thing, man. You telling me that we're in a new covenant? Look at this. If this is your new covenant, you are bugged out. You're wicked, and I don't want to be near you. I don't even want to stand across the street from you, man. I want to, I want it, man. I want to be, a, I want to be ten whole blocks away from you, man. I don't want to be nowhere near you, man. I don't even want to be in. I don't, I don't want you to be even in my sight, man. Just go away, man. You sit up there tell, telling me that we're in the new covenant. Unless I gotta work with you on a job, I don't want to be near you. Right? I don't want to be near you. Anybody with that mindset believing that we are we're in some new covenant with, with 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 stuff like this going on, man. You are out of your goddamn mind. Do you think in the new covenant we're gonna have a woman trying to a woman sit up there and say, No, you're not equal, you're trains. You're not equal to me, you're trains. No, you know, all of a sudden you got a problem. Come on, man. Yeah, that stuff ain't gonna be happening in the kingdom. Ain't gonna be no transformers or nothing like that. You know, the kingdom of God is going you telling me the kingdom of God, the almighty perfect, is gonna have this confusion in his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna have that, man. This ain't gonna be nothing. Nah, nah man. You sick. Anyway, it says for shall the work uh say of him that made it. He made of it I'm continuing on. It said he made me not. It says, or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he have no understanding. All right. So what I'm gonna do is get another scripture. All right, first Peter chapter three, verse 19. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. All right, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So that's a very, I bring that scripture out a lot, man, because it's, it, obviously, we, uh, we all know these scriptures never, ever get old, man. You know, and that's, that's what happens to a lot of people, you know, that come into this thing and then they leave. It starts getting old, but you, but you, but you, but you people have to understand. These scriptures never get old. Remember, it's like flowing water. The spirit of the scriptures say that, man, the word of the Lord is flowing water. That's, that's all it really is, man. It's just flowing. Where it's constantly flowing. You can bring out the same scripture every single day and apply it to something new. Or don't apply it to something new. But it's going to apply to something. For example, Hosea 4 6. That's the easiest thing to apply something to. Right? You look at this. Right? Hosea, this is like a prime example. Hosea 4, 4, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge. So then what happened? The Lord is going to, he said, I will also reject thee. This, this thing right here has been rejected by the Lord. If you're looking like this, right? If you're looking like this, you're rejected already. Before judgment day, <laughs> you're, you're rejected. You know what I'm saying? If you're a transformer, you, you, you're a boy turning yourself to a girl and shit like that. You done got rid of your rod and all that stuff. You're rejected. You know, you're already rejected. Right be, Before Judgment Day, we don't know when Judgment Day is going to be. It could be years from now. You know? You know what I'm saying? You're rejected. So, this is a prime example of uh, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. And then, the, and then the other woman that got on here, uh, uh, Aretha, you know, that's another, that's a prime example too. Everything about this place, man, everything about our people right now is a prime example of why we rejected, you know, I'm, uh, uh, so like it is a prime example of Hosea 4, 6. All right. You look at, you look at these bug outs that, that leave and start talking shit like that guy in Mississippi, a war. You know what I'm saying? 
And here's a prime example. You got IU, the IUIC, the ISUPK. You got you got the, the, the Sicariites. You know what I'm saying? They all a prime example of Hosea 4.6, HOI, GOCC, all of these guys, Wi-Fi, all of these guys, man. They were all a prime example of Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. And we are not, we are, we are not to associate ourselves with them. For all you people out there that can sit up there and say, man, y'all constantly tear down other camps, man. Why do you do that, man? You you keep wasting your time, man. Why don't y'all just all get together? We are not to associate ourselves with the path of the wicked, man. You think that's just talking about Edomites? Why the hell would it, why why the hell would that just be talking about Edomites when we already know about that, man? Right? Whenever the scriptures say avoid the path of the wicked uh, or something on the lines of that, you know who that's, you know what that's talking about? Wicked ass Israelites. That sit up there and say that you can you can you, you can first off you can treat the Passover like some big ass celebrate celebratory party. Right? That sit up there and say that you can call the Lord whatever it is you want to call him and not by his holy name. Now, now, uh, now you, you got groups out there sit up there and say, well, Yahweh Shai is his earthly name. It's not a mystery. How the hell is it not a mystery? Right? You think I'm going to be standing next to somebody like that? Throwing my garment on standing next to somebody like that? Grave, the graven image of Yahweh Shai is now of Satan. Do you think I'm going to be standing next to somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? The words of Paul aren't correct. The word book of the book of Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? John the Baptist fell out. All this other crap, man. The MO. Let's go to the biggest one. The MOTB, the the mark, the C hip, you know what I'm saying? The rice grain and whatever else you call it. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest things right there. I'm not going to be standing next to somebody like that, man. The Lord is about perfection. And all these other wicked, all these other camps, man, they're wicked as shit. All of them. Straight up. If you don't like it, too bad, man. They're all wicked. Every last one of them, man, they're wicked. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they quick, they quick to, to, to uh, sit up there and say, man, brother this and brother that. Well, if y'all were so much brothers, how come, how come, how come when Sakari says something, I don't see IHPK saying anything? about that but they have a problem with what great millstone teaches how come i don't see it because y'all all phony man just like this world y'all all phony and that's how that's how that's how we know y'all of the world because y'all phony just like this world is man every last one of y'all man y'all phony just just like everybody out in this world is man everybody you know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, that's pretty much all I got on this. I have no idea when I'm going to title this. So, giving all praise, honor, glory to you. How about Shimei Shai? Shalom.